Hey guys, it's your girl Ariel, and you're watching the Disney Channel. Ooh. Hey now, hey now. Hey guys, it's your girl Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now listen you guys, you know, I've been doing the makeup tutorials and everything and they're fun, but you know, we gotta mix it up sometimes, get some new content on this Gigarama. So I thought it would be really fun to, you know, switch it up and start a new different thing weekly. Yes, weekly with you guys. And this is going to be a new little web series I've been planning out and it is going to be called OMG, standing for Oh my God. And in this web series, we're just going to be talking about topics weekly. You know, I'm going to do like three subjects. I think I've gotten it down to three because, you know, three's nice, sweet. Three is a good number. So it's going to be three topics we're going to talk about weekly. And then I'm going to give you guys my favorite product of the week. So it's going to be like the star product. Doesn't have to necessarily have to do with drags. You know, not everyone that watches this table. Table! Not everyone that watches this channel is a drag queen. You know, we got some Womanas up in here. Speaking of, I need to put... This isn't even the product of the week, but I'm gonna put this on. So there's this brand. It's, uh, what is it? Newbie, Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place. Isn't that where they put bad children? Anyway, they have these, oh no, I just, heavens to Betsy. I'm not gonna be able to open that. Oh, I have a fresh one. This is off to a rough start. All right, well now that I've gotten mortifyingly distracted, let's get into these three topics. Like I said, we're gonna be doing three topics weekly. Three topics and one star product of the week. So we are going to get into our first topic that we're gonna spill the tea on you guys. And that is going to be the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks disaster. Now you guys know Wiggate. That was the whole Jesus. But yeah, that, that was a whole mess. But oh yeah, by the way, this is from American Richard. It says 99% mermaid, 1% unicorn because I am. So, you know, Jaclyn Hill, she is a YouTuber, she's an MUA, she is a beauty guru. Now, you know, I didn't really follow Jaclyn Hill, so I probably should have done some research on this topic before talking shit, but you know what? I was on Drag Race and we got paid to talk shit, so I'm gonna talk shit. So, apparently, she was setting out these lipsticks and they looked disgusting. Now, when I'm telling you, I worked in cosmetic retail for six years at Sephora. These lipsticks were despicable. Like, you, oh my God, if somebody brought me back this lipstick, I would burn it in a holy fire. Like, no, they were horrific. They had like bumps in them and hairs and like black dots. Now, here's the tea. Like I said, I know when makeup goes bad, you should not be using makeup for like more than a year. These lipsticks were motherfucking expired. And I don't know what she was trying to tell these little white fuzzy gloves, there was little hairs in them. And she was trying to say, Loki, Loki, that they were from the gloves. No, bitch, that's mold. It's like this, I forget what the name is. But yeah, that's the type of mold that is growing out of those lipsticks. There was bumps, it was gross. I would not, I would not put that on my lip. That is grotesque, that is grotsky, it is ew no. So like, here's the tea though. People were saying that apparently she had been trying to build up this brand for like five years, right? Like five freaking years. That's a long time to try to get it together. And she was tr apparently saying like, I want the formula to be so buttery and beautiful. And I'm like, bitch, you were trying to get this buttery ass lipstick for five years and you're setting out mold. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe we're not dead, bitch. Like what? Ew, like I, I definitely am not gonna buy any of those lipsticks. Now here's the other tea. She said that she was building this brand like five years ago, something about two year lipstick span. I think that she made these lipsticks like low key low-key a while ago and like now she's trying to sell them and they molded over the years and then she was just like, <laughs> it's fine, I'm white. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I think that that is just <clears throat> a big old disaster. And also, she goes by Jaclyn Cosmetics now. People are like, why do the lipsticks say Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics on them? Why the JH? I met a guy in confusion. Why does it say JH if you're no longer with your husband? All right, this is now turning into like the real housewives in New Jersey. Oh my God. Please excuse me as I now put on my non-moldy YSL lips. Shut the fuck. Up. Oh, yes. God, this lipstick tastes like credit card debt. Oh. This is a really pretty color though. It reminds me of like chili powder and butthole. Mm. Topic number two. The live action Aladdin. All right, now you guys know that I am like one of the biggest Disney fans, okay? Like I love Aladdin. Aladdin is definitely in my top three. My top three, 
Number three would be Beauty and the Beast. Belle's a fierce-ass bitch, and she's smart, so we like that. We like her, and, you know, you get up past the bestiality, and she's killing it. It's not really a big deal in France, I guess, but whatever, girl. You do you. Live your life. Number two would be Aladdin. Cause you know, you gotta love the guys too. I mean, I definitely love guys, but anyway, um, yeah. So we're all about the princesses, but you gotta love the boys too. I love Aladdin. He was always my favorite. And of course, Ariel coming in first with the little sperm maid. Obviously that's why my name is Ariel because I was a little ginger redhead who drowned in water all the time when I was on the swim team. So. Aladdin was a close second. I loved it. Now, this live action, a lot of people, it was like in heat because like low-key, the girl playing Jasmine's like white, I think. And then like a lot of people weren't liking the casting. Here's the tea. The casting, I loved it. Y'all are gonna hate me for saying I loved it, loved it, loved it. I thought the casting was great. I thought all the actors were excellent. Will Smith was like the fresh prince of the lamp. It was great. Aladdin was a cutie. They all sounded pretty good. Jasmine, oh my God, her vocals were everything. You know, it was very, it was very like Aladdin meets High School Musical, if that makes sense. But other than that, it was really, really well put together, in my opinion. I thought so. Um, but here's the tea about, I went and saw it twice already. I'm probably gonna go a third time. They wrote in a song for Jasmine called Speechless. That's how I felt about it. It was like the most beautiful Disney song I've ever heard. I'm sorry, part of your world. Don't don't yell at me that I'm cheating on you a little bit. Part of your world will always low key be the best. But this Disney song, Speechless, is so beautiful. I did a cover of it and then I realized that I sounded like I was gargling on shards of glass and ice cubes, so I'm not gonna post it. Maybe I will, but um, she's like all beautiful, like la da 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 and I'm like <laughs> So we'll see, cause I'm gonna pale in comparison. But anyway, yeah, the song is beautiful. Go listen to it. Um, Naomi Scott is her name. Such an incredibly talented singer, incredible artist, actress, everything. Tens across the board, go off, ma. Yeah, but sickening, so make sure you guys go see that. And funny little story time for you guys. So, uh, Chastity, Ricardo, my husband and I, we went to go see it together. We went on a Monday night, and we went to a 10 o'clock, like a 10 o'clock viewing. So we were we went out to dinner first, and then we went to go see the movie, our little date night. I had like two vodka sodas. I was like, no, no, it was tequila soda. I said I was gonna go in there, and Speechless was gonna come on, and I was gonna kick off my flip-flops and run down the aisle. I was like, I will not be silent. Yeah, but I didn't do that. I was like one of those little shitty people with their phone, like filming it, like, oh, I'm gonna watch this at home later. But yeah, so I was illegal. Cops, don't come after me for the love of God. So we noticed when we were walking in that this guy was walking in by himself, like this straight bro -y guy. And we're like, oh, he's coming in here with his girlfriend. And, um,. And we were like, listen, the movie didn't start yet. There's a lot of power outages. It kept it was raining a lot. So like the theater was behind on the schedule, whatever. So nothing was playing in the theater. So we were like, oh, let's go tell the front. And the guy was like, oh, okay. So it was me, Ricardo, and this guy. And we told the guy at the front. They fixed the screen. So we walk in. And then like five minutes later, this guy comes back in. But he was it came in by himself. And we were like, okay, maybe like his friend or his girlfriend, like they're coming. This guy watched the whole movie by himself. Now my theory is, which I think it's so fucking cute, I think that this guy, cause he was, like I said, he was this very bro -y straight guy, I think that he did not want anyone to know that his ass was going to see Aladdin and he was embarrassed, so he's like, let me go on a Monday at 10 o'clock at night at the latest showing so no one will see me there. But I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, he was probably like that little little boy who's like, one jump at his red line. Like fell out of a tree and broke his arm. Like so cute. But yeah, I thought that was a really fun story. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go support um, going to the movie theater because apparently statistically going to the movies, which I love going to the movies, and apparently numbers and going to the movies are dropping dramatically. So please go have date nights with your friends or your significant others and go out to the movies because you know, it's fun. Stop with the Netflix and chill. You can go jerk your boyfriend off on the back row to movie theater. Just kidding. Don't do that. You'll get arrested. And our last topic of episode one is going to be Rachel Jack and Ashley to Black Mirror. 
bitch. Oh my god, so many people were like talking shit on this episode because it's Miley and a bitch. I have a special place with Miley. Miley's in my heart because I met her at the premiere episode of my season of Drag Race. I don't know what Drag Race. So I love that bitch. I've always loved her ever since the Hannah Montana days. I will always stand Hannah Montana, but now I get to stand Ashley O. So if you guys have not seen it, make sure you guys go see Rachel, Jack, and Ashley too. Now, Miley actually plays a pop star named Ashley O, and she has like an alter ego that she does on stage. Very Hannah Montana, love it. But she's wearing like a little purple bob gigarama. She's like, I'm a dyke, but I have feelings, and like, I'm gonna get what I deserve. Not quite like that, but... Yeah, you get it. But um, yeah, so she looks super cute. The, I don't want to give anything away, but the episode is super fun. You know, it's very Black Mirror, very like, uh, it gets a little dark, but I thought it was super cool. And I also thought that it was really funny because who in here is a Hannah Montana stan? Did she or did she not look like when she would put Lola or, oh my God, what was her best friend's name? I mean, I know it's Emily Osment and she was Gertie Giggles and Spy Kids, but what was her name in Hannah Montana? Oh my God. Lily. Lily. Oh my God. Lily. And I think she was Lola? Fuck it, I don't care about her fake name. But anyway, it's very funny because Miley's character in Black Mirror looks like when she would put Lily as Lola in Quick Drag on uh, Hannah Montana. So love that journey for her. But if you guys did not go see Black Mirror, make sure you guys see it. And if you did not go on my Instagram profile, I literally did a recreation of Miley's look. So go fucking like it, okay? All right, guys. Well, that wraps up my first three topics of the week. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun talking shit with you guys. So um, I would love to do this every week. So if you guys so if you guys like this, make sure you guys give a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you guys comment everything you liked about it. What could I can do differently? Like, Ariel, stop fucking throwing your hair behind your shoulder. Yeah, I get it. I know. Listen, this hair's long and it's itchy and it's, my house is hot as balls. I'm upstairs by myself and there's no alcohol. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, so let me know what you guys like, and also do me a favor, turn on post notifications somewhere here, so you know when I'm posting a video, because y'all hoes don't know when I'm posting a video, Instagram likes to play games with me, YouTube likes to play games with me, I already got played lots of games, the same fucking Monopoly, it ain't life, it is not Clue, and I don't want to get killed in the kitchen with a dildo, so please make sure you turn on post notifications so you guys know when I post a video! Alright guys, so before I reveal my first ever must-have product of the week, let me get my thumbnail for the video. Hold on. <laughs> Alright guys, and my first ever must-have product of the week is, drum roll please, it is the TG Bedhead Head Rush Shine Spray. Now this shit is the T. You can use this in human hair, you can use this in synthetic hair. Now what it says is head rush, shine spray with a super fine mist. Now what this shit does, or what at least I use it for, when your wig is looking a little like, honey, I need help and I shrunk the kids and I need rehab and I said, no, no, no. You just spray this in there and it gives it a lot of shine and it kind of brings like whatever curl pattern was like in there back. It makes a little PC too. It's like that like sexy brick, brick knee. Britney Toxic Gigarama, see? Just gives it like lots of texture, like that sexy, I just had sex on the beach with um, my boyfriend's ex. Yeah, ooh, trans for me. <sighs> also, it smells really, really good. It smells really, really good. So yeah, if you guys are looking for like a product to bring with you on the go, if you guys need like to do little hair touch-ups, or you just feel like your hair is a little lifeless, needs a little life back into it, make sure you guys pick up Bedhead Head Rush. Yes. All right, guys, one more time. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is the first of my O-M-G. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm going to be doing this every week, or at least I hope to. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. Also, just to remind you guys, I am on Cameo. So if you guys want to get personalized selfie-style videos from me, make sure you hit me up on Ariel Versace on Cameo. And make sure you follow me on the Insta at Ariel Versace. I love you guys so much. And as always... Yes. yes.